know what? I didn't realize it, but turns out I did need another machine. This is great. This has been running. Uh, there's probably a few hours of printing to do on here. A few hours of printing to do on the, uh, the used 37B. And in between all that, I can squeak out little jobs here. It's really convenient having an extra machine. And just so you don't waste your time if you're trying to watch this video to learn something, you're not going to learn anything in this video. I've got a ton of printing to do. I don't even want to try and figure out what I'm going to try and tell you guys. Hey, maybe I'll say something. I, I don't know. I just don't know. But this is what a busy week for Dan looks like. Black and white insides are finished. So far it's really great having a third color machine. I really need to run a dedicated electrical line for it though. I think I have stuff laying around here uh, because right now I can only plug in three of the four machines at a time. So now that I'm done the black and white stuff, I can plug in this and back up the color sides here. Printing some covers here. And then I have four cases of labels to print here and here. busy three hours 
about printing, running all three of these at the same time. It seems that uh, everything ran out of toner at about the same time, so it was like six or eight bottles of toner I needed to put in there to keep them going. But wanted to show you this. I was struggling to get this paper to feed. It was running fine, and then it wouldn't. I was making all kinds of adjustments, and I couldn't get it to feed. Finally, I just pulled it out, and there was adhesive on it. It's keeping those two together, so it couldn't pull it in. Just the littlest thing will stop you. Labels are done. Printing some books here. I'm gonna do a combination of perfect binding and saddle stitching here for the rest of the day.